Hello and welcome to a very special Cracking the Cryptic where I am going to take another look back into the listener archives and look at a classic listener number 3641 called Trick or Treat? Question mark, by Dimitri. Um, I think this originally appeared in October 2001 and I certainly did solve it 17 years ago but I'm not going to claim I have a great memory of the whole puzzle but I do have a memory of um, the back end of it. So I think this will get good and hit the end. Now it's quite a large puzzle on a 15 by 15 grid and quite a long preamble. So getting through the first stage of the puzzle could take quite a while, but I'm going to give it a go. Might need to do some cuts or something at some point, but um, I'm going to give it a go and uh, help you with your clue solving as we go. And as always, let's start by reading the preamble. <coughs> Clues are of two types. In treat clues, words are to be entered as given by the wordplay at that clue number, but of exchange definitions between pairs to be discovered. Taking the numerical difference between the two clue numbers in each pair and converting these differences using A equals 1 to Z equals 26 will yield the letters of an essential light. Um, in trick clues, three consecutive characters appear which are to be ignored for the cryptic solving of the clue, which doesn't usually read sensibly as English once the three letters are removed. These three letters yield a quotation message in the following manner, again using letter enumeration above. The difference between the second and first yields one letter, and the difference between the third and second yields another. Where necessary, adding 26 to the later letter if required to avoid a negative answer. Thus, if the extra three letters were hex, the two yielded letters would be W equals would be W E31 minus H8 and S X24 minus E5. Reading down the trick clues in order, allocating the two letters as necessary yields the quotation with its source and a message to be squarely obeyed by solvers. The second word of the quotation may, in the context of this puzzle, be deemed of either one or two syllables. I mean, there's a lot going on there, but the key thing to pull out is that there are two different types of clue, and all I need to know to begin with is that either definitions have been swapped around between a pair of clues, or there's an extra three letters in a clue. So. Might as well just plunge in. I've got the grid um, logged here. Um, and when we get to the stage later in the puzzle of trying to work out what the alphanumeric things are giving us, then we'll have a look at that at that point. So, one across. Legend of Attila discovered in vessel at hollow burial place. <sighs> Legend of... No, I'm not seeing much there. Let's keep going till we find one that we can actually crack on at. Lamp free from faults, without lead or lead, present, present for examination. So I'm sure present for examination is the definition, although it might not be of this wordplay. Lamp free from faults, without lead. Free from faults, flawless, without lead would be lawless. I don't see what the lamp's doing though. Or if present for examination swaps with something else. No, I can't really understand that, although lawless is an interesting possibility. 11 across, a fashionable form of immunization. A fashionable form. I don't think it's an anagram of form after a. 13. Ford filled, perhaps putting narrow body of water beside river. Cheekers. Okay. 15. Company refused to hold on, beginning to alter chandeliers. Beginning to alter. Chandeliers looks like a definition. So, company refused to hold on, beginning to alter. 
<sighs> now the the preamble didn't say that when two definitions are swapped that they'll be of the same length. So the definitions could be to of any length clues really. Conference to limit food radiation. Conf it looks like an extra word. Diet is a conference and diet is to limit food. Ah, to limit food ration. Perhaps. So that would give us diet at 16 and either ADI or DIA as the extra letters at 16 across. <sighs> I mean, that's not very helpful. ADI or DIA. I don't know. That's, it's going to be very tough if there's alternative possibilities for some of these. Um, right, 18 down. Let's have a look at the downs. We've got a, or 8 down, sorry. We've got a D second letter. Um, I could actually just shut this down a bit. Okay, so that we can see the answers as we go. There we go. So, eight down. Fragrant, perhaps. Burgundy vino supplied. Red? Burgundy? Fra redolent. Redolent can mean fragrant. Burgundy could be red. Olent means smelly, doesn't it? So, <clears throat> Lent could be supplied. Vin is the extra bit in eight. Okay, Vin is the extra bit. Let's just pull that up. We'll enter these three trigrams down here. No, well, just that one. Okay, 8 down, VIN. So I minus V in alphanumeric is 34 minus 22 is a 12 is L. And N minus I, J, K, L, M, N is 5 is E. So they're quite useful letters. And we've got, re more importantly, we've got redolent in the grid. Okay, so at least we've got something going. Nine down. Excellent. Malay dagger has lost its end. There's a crease, K-R-E-E-S, that can have an E on the end. That's a Malay dagger, I think. There's also Dar. I don't quite know which one of those two daggers is Malay. Excellent. Crease. I want it to be crease, but it doesn't really make sense. It could be one of the definition swaps, but since both versions of crease mean the same thing, so that's not ideal. Ten down. Epitaph. R.I.P. Oriental Festival. Artists given hero. Yeah. <sighs> hero could be Sid. C.I.D. Arti tetracid. Tet for an oriental festival, RA for an artist, and Sid for a hero. And I bet tetracid is a chemical, so that definition is being swapped with another one somewhere. And somewhere we're going to find a clue with a chemical definition, and its, it's definition should be excellent. Okay, so... I'm sure we'll come across that at some point. When we see a chemical, I must try and remember. Six across was this lamp free from faults. It's definitely not lawless. Perfect. Without lead, present for examination. So, perfect. Would... Oh no, it doesn't. Perfect doesn't fit with that, does it? Ah, oh, free from faults. Ah, oh, don't know. 18 across, don't think we've tried this. Frogs and toads run over on the M9. 
Well, run is R, and the M9 is in Scotland, and one of their versions of over is hour. So, rower, how is that defining frogs and toads? I think it's swapping a definition with frogs and toads. I have a feeling that's a genus called rana, or that could be amphibians or something. Um, interesting. So I think that's a definition swap there. Now, nine down. Right, nine down. Okay, now I've remembered finally, under the prompting of the fact that it can't really be a K at the start, that the Malay dagger can be spelt C-R-E-E-S-E. -E -E. So I think the definition there, which is excellent, is not for that word, but somewhere else there will be Native Americans as a definition or similar. Maybe I should start looking for them, but tribesmen or something. I expect we'll come across them. Now, six across. Free from faults could be correct as a verb, and without its lead is orect, and I think there is a word porect. So let's assume that that word means present for an examination, to porect something, and lamb is the extra the extra three letters. Right, A minus L gives us 27 minus 12 is 15, gives us an O, that's a good letter, and M minus A gives us an L. Okay. Small. 14 down. Hesitation shown in total lack of energy. An R in the middle. Lack of energy doesn't look like it can apply to something because it, it's just sitting there on the end, so it's likely to be a definition. Hesitation could be er, uh, shown in total could be some. We could have a serum, and we're looking for the definition for serum somewhere to swap with that one. Now, I, I admit I am taking some guesses and chances here, but really we've got to do some of that to make some progress or to make speedy progress anyway. And yeah, one or two guesses may turn out to be wrong, but we'll have to fix them as we go. Right, Ford Field perhaps putting narrow body of water beside river. Well, body of water could be C, S-E-A, and R could be what it is. Um, Ford Field. Cat's ear or pig's ear, something's ear. Narrow. Could just come down to row. Could be just NAR, could be the extra letters. Um, dog's ear. Row, dog, or row. Row, din's ear. No, I don't know. Right, seven down, beginning with an O. I haven't looked at this yet. Times, old boy heading for the top. Old boy has to surely be OB times old boy heading for the top obo obit can't see why six down mint like plant turning up is that nip truly sapless all but first having five radiating parts okay well Looks like it begins with pent, pentact, perhaps. Mint-like plant is catnip. Is that, that? I'm liking this, so let's try pentact. And what does that look like? It is catnip upwards, and I think that's one version of catnip. Turning up, truly sapless, all but first. I don't know what's going on there. Truly less all but first. So sap is extra, I think, in six down. And the T is truly less all but first, which is a weird way of clearing it, but fair enough. Oh, bother, what did I... I've entered OL here in the wrong place. 
Where did I find another some extra letters? Over oh, six across. That's the problem. Okay. So we'll put O L there and six down. We think SAP is the extra letter. So A minus S, 27 minus 19 is 8, gives us an H. And P minus A must give us an O, because it's one less. Okay. Um, oh, what was this? What sort of row or row or narrow before the body of water? Ford field. Ford field. Doesn't feel like a proper definition, but I don't know what would be. No one, 15 across. Oh, this one. Company refused to hold on, beginning to alter. Right, let's try coronae, which might be chandeliers. I think CO for company. And then re is holding on and beginning to alter, which is A. So therefore, refused, we would have to take three letters out of, and it can clue re. Um, read? Why would that be re? Don't know. Might be right, might not. Seven, uh, we had a look at seven down before. Times old boy heading for the top. <sighs> no, I just don't know that. Um, what else down? Five down. Style of hair oil replaced cream at length. I'm not that confident about Corona. I mean, it could be right, but it might not be. Um, five. Style of hair oil. Picasso or something. Style of hair. That'll be the definition. Oil replaced cream at length. Length can be L. Okay, Marcel. If you have Marcel hair, and I think I just saw that recently. That is with hair oil applied. So Marcel must be a style of hair oil. Although, what replaced is a very odd anagram indicator. Maybe it should be laced. That's quite odd itself. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think maybe rep is the extra letters there. I'm going to write it down there, but I'm not sure about that at all. Um, four down. What changes gas in gut oozes badly right? Okay, well, it looks like we need an anagram of oozes, then the R for right. Okay, gut is the extra. In oozes, anagrammed, and then R. Ah, oh, I want it to be ionizer. Ah, oh, I'm sure it's something that changes gas. Ozonizer. That must replace gas. Never don't know it's a word, but gut is the extra in four down. I'm happy enough about that. 21 is U minus 7 gives us 14, which is N, and T minus U is obviously... doesn't give us 1, it's the opposite. It gives us Z? Mm, that's not so good. Oh no, it gives, gives a Y. It would be U minus U. Why? Okay. To give a Z, I think. Mean. Right. At least that's given us a couple of answers. 17 across. One of the bard's servants embraces regal friar on stage. <sighs> One of the bard's servants. Some character from Shakespeare who's a servant? I suppose more likely to be a word for a servant. Legend of Attila discovered in... Oh, burial place. Catacomb would fit. So, 
Legend or okay, cab could be the vessel. Catacomb could be a horrible, hollow burial place. Then we've got Tacom for Legend of Attila with an extra three words. Hecatomb, that's possible, but then that. Well, cab would still be in Hecatomb, but you'd have Tom in it. Leg of Attila? End of Attila, A. Discovered in Vessel, Cat, at Comb, which is one variant of the hollow. Whoa. Okay, so I think leg is the extra in one down. So leg 5 plus 26, 31 minus 12 is 19, gives us an S. And leg G minus E must give us a B. God, these clues are not straightforward. One down. Hard coal, though not hot, rendered brittle when glowing. No, I don't know. Two down. At first, Tokyo denounces foreign unfermented bean curd. Is taro? That might be unfermented bean curd. Uh, bean curd. At first, Tokyo T denounces foreign. Oh, tofu. That's even more likely to be unfermented bean curd. At first, Tokyo denounces. Ah, Tokyo ounces foreign unfermented gives us its first letters as tofu. So den is the extra at two down. And den E minus D gives us an A, and N minus E is 14 minus 5 gives us an I. Those are good letters. Okay. Right. Wow, it's hard to prize every answer out, but at least we're making some progress in the top of the grid. 11 across. A fashionable form of immunization. A fashionable, a hot form. I don't know. And 17, Prudence would fit. One of the barred servants, Lawrence. Launce. Launce is a servant in one of the plays. Merchant of Venice, I think. Embraces Re, just R-E. Friar Lawrence, that's another Shakespeare character. Bam! Great Shakespeare knowledge. Gal is the extras at 17 across. A minus G, 27 minus 7 is 20 is a T, and L minus A must be K. Right, three down. Oarsman taking afternoon going up Sussex River. Aaron, Aaron. Afternoon can be A. Going up Sussex River is Nura. And Nura are frogs and toads, I reckon. I think it means tailless. Um. And where were frogs and toads? So oarsman is rower. So 3 and 18 are swapping. And that, I don't know where to put it, whether to put it at 3 or 18. Let's put it at 18 across. I think we're getting an O there. I don't know whether to make a guess at the ADIDIA for 16. I don't know. I'll leave that for now. Right. That's good. We've got a first pairing of paired clues. 12 down. Check about right. Last letter. With respect to France's first name. Name could be the definition. Or even first name. Check could be CH. About could be A. Right could be R. Last letter. 
See, I'm thinking Charles now. Why would last letter with respect to France's first be L-E-S? Or is there another name beginning with Char? Don't know. I like it, though. I'm not quite happy. Imagine if it was a C and at the beginning of 12. 11 across would be... Ah, oh, Tony can be fashionable. So, at Tony is a word. But it's not a form of immunization, I think. It's tonelessness. So I imagine that that is swapping definitions. 12 down. Check about right. Check. Beginning with T. About right. Last letter. With respect. I don't know. One down again. Hard coal, though not hot, rendered. So take H out of hard coal. Render the whole thing. So mix it up. You get car load. Which I'm presuming is going to swap definitions with brittle when glowing. I'm not 100% certain about that one, but it is at least a genuine anagram. Right. Indian's book. Shankar. Well, we wanted Indians. Indians is a slightly unfashionable term now, but maybe 17 years ago, not so bad. Bravi is B for book and Ravi for Shankar. There we go. And that is swapping with the definition of Crees, nine. And Bravi is a kind of plural shout of bravo, so it means excellent. Okay, so three... No... What was it? 19 and 9. So under 19, I'm going to write O. The letter J. Because the difference between 19 and 9 is 10, which is the letter J. Ooh. Maybe I've misunderstood the instruction. J is not a letter that we really expect to be using. 12 down. Check. Can that be tab? About right. Trab. I don't. With respect to France's first letter. France's, f I don't know, Trabant, no. 24 across, begins with A. Part of Nazareth seen around. So that could be Azan, which is a call to prayer. And Trabzon would work at 12 down, which is a Turkish city, I think. Check, tab, possibly, about right. Last letter, Z, with respect to on. It's going to swap definitions with something. So we're going to find a fir French first name somewhere and a Turkish city. Look at that, 23 across. Major part of Turkey. No, 23 down. I haven't got any letters. Major part of Turkey. That is Trabzon. So we bring in the definition from 23, which is France's first name. Abandons one active eastern black seaport. The odd thing there is abandons looks like a bit of wordplay connecting the major part of Turkey. Ah, oh, that's a shame. One active IA. Can there be two Turkish references? I mean, I haven't got it wrong that Trab no, Trabzon Spor is a Turkish football club, so I'm sure Trabzon is in Turkey. It just doesn't look like that. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, well, let's just solve the clues and, and we'll come across it. 21 across. We're nearly done with the top half of crosses. Prince pursuing... English estate near Whitehall. E something, A something. Prince could be Raz, R A S, as well as Raj. So, eras. Prince pursuing English estate near Whitehall. Going to assume that's swapping definitions. It's quite, it's quite a, useful, <laughs> a useful presumption, but it might lead to some wrong solving. 26 across, I mean, it must be ecumenic, mustn't it, to fit that? Universal, I think that's ecumenic. I mean, universal currency, ecu. One 
initially championed by airmen. By men. Okay, ecumenic can be universal. Currency can be ecu. One is I, initially championed is C, by men gives us ecumenic, and air is extra in this one. Ecumenic. So air at 26 across, I minus A gives H, and R minus I is 18 minus 9 gives another I. Okay. <clears throat> Just thinking, phrase a word like air is a very useful um, three-letter pairing. But I suppose the uh, three-letter grouping. But the compiler has at least had the choice of that first letter, so he probably always gets a reasonable possibility as a three a trigram to insert. Anyway, twenty-seven across. More willing to perform races online. So I think that. To perform is do races miles no line is L and on normally means going after so it could be doll something no I don't really know 28 back to Gudrun in characterless opera by Verdi this is where I should know my opera's better. Enani, that might be by Verdi. Um, run in inane backwards and GUD of Gudrun is the extra stuff there in 28 down. Ooh, no, 28 across. Okay, GUD. U is 21 minus G is 7 gives us 14, which is N. D will be 30 minus U is 21 gives us I, which is 9. Okay, we've got awful lot of the top done now. Well done, us. 22 down, begins with RE. University lecturer admitting one stupid chap. Aha, a reader could be the lecturer admitting one, I, it gives us readier. And that definition at 27 across, more willing, is readier. So that is swapping definitions 22 and 27 are swapping definitions which is fine because that will give us an e as the difference between those two 27 across we get e get the third row there and that means that 27 across uses the definition for 22 down which is stupid chap never even read that so stupid chap to perform races online so it probably ends in E-L. Why? Races. Four letters ending in E. Oh, T-T. Races. On could be re. Dotterel. I know that as a bird. It does sound like it's got root with dotard and that sort of stupid. So happy enough with that. 20 down. Product of glands begins with rat. Lister originally found in dog. A ratter could be a dog. So Lister originally could be T. We've got a rattler. And I don't think that's a product of glands. I think that's a snake. So there's another swap going on. 25 down. Bishop given attention over. Call to prayer. Right. Call to prayer was Azan at 24. Bishop and attention is ear. Turned over gives us bray. And the definition at 24 was apparently steep hillside, bray. So 24 and 25 are giving us an A. No, oh, I was going to put it opposite 24, wasn't I? Okay. So apart from that J, we're getting some good letters. So, you know, the J might be right. 25, no, 32 across, A, R, something, D. 20th century style, art deco. Of trade, abandoned codes... Anagram trade and then co, so des is the extra stuff. At 32 across, e minus d gives a, s minus e is 19 minus. Okay, 23 down. 
major part of Turkey. See, Anatolia, that is a major part of Turkey, whereas Trabzon's just a town. So, if that abandons one, we've got Anatola. Anatole is a French name. Trabzon is the eastern black seaport. Oh, it's all in the same clue. Right, Anatole and Trabzon, which we've written in at 12. So 12 and 23 down. I mean, I think it all works. Not quite sure. Oh, yes. A bit. Anatolia abandons IA, one active, and then gets an E, Eastern. Oh, right. 23 down. No, what was the first one? 12 down. We've got difference between 23 and 12 is 11. That's a K. Ooh. Oh, well. 29 down, beginning RO. Giving gold up. That could be or being sent up is row with some lines. So roll, creating a codicil in Scotland. Could be a definition swap or could be, I could be meant to take out a coil in Scotland could be a roll. That's quite likely, actually. Let's assume that 29 down is giving us DIC. I minus D is E, and C29 minus I9 is a T. They're quite good letters. Okay, let's assume that's what's going on there. Not 100% sure about that, but worth positing something and moving on. 35 across. Apart from 13, it's the first across we haven't done. Isolated older rock within nuggets that is found between lake and river. Okay, so... We've got that is IE between lake and river L and R. In Lyre, that's some sort of older rock. Within gets, so nug is the extra stuff in 35 across. Nug, U minus N, 21 minus 14 gives us G. And, right, yeah, and. Nug, G minus U, 27, 30, no, 26, 33 minus 21 gives 12, which is L and K. Now, 37 across. Mock, driving out Dame with snakes and rodents. Was that rattler? No, it doesn't really work there. Hmm. Mock, false. Cod? Driving out D for Dame, Coal with snakes and rodents. Ah, it would be useful to get that because we need some help in this bottom half. Let's try 39 across. This would be very helpful too. Caught C, chicken badly with wire cord that's thick. Creosote. Chicken badly, check there with wire, cord that's thick. Oh, I feel like it's close, but I don't know. I'm going to have to try some downs now. 30 down with an I second, and this will give us loads of first letters. Able to give away 4H, having one club, and jack to ace in hearts with lead of trumps. What a very contri contrived bridge clue. Um, able to give away. Able to give away 4 hate, 4 hearts, I mean. Having one club and jack to a high jack. No, uh, two words. Yeah, I don't know. No. With something maybe able to give away. Four. I-V-H. No, I don't know. Stop thinking about that. 31. More than one bumpkin. Not bumpkin. With area showing bark. More than one probably three letters come out of bumkin so it's either more than one kin or more than one bum with area showing bark ah, k 
Kinchona. No, I don't know. 33 down, beginning with C. Order in nice freezer which produces fast olives. Order in no, order could be O M order of merit in nice freezer which produces fast olives. <sighs> right, just got three short crosses left with any help. Not really making much progress. Endlessly set. Fine contribution to crossword. Surely clue. Endlessly set. Club? Clog? Clog? Set can mean so many things. That's very frustrating. Fine could be F. Then contribution to crossword. What could that be? No, endlessly set has to, has to be three letters, and then clot. I mean that can be set, but then fine would be f cloth. It's not a contribution to a crossword. I do not know. Let's try forty four across. Room in Galway that's oh what's happened there? That's not good. Sorry, I've just jumped to the newspaper accidentally. Can I go back? Oh, come on. Yeah, it's coming back. Okay, there we go. Right, sorry about that. 44, R, oh, third letter of four. Room in Galway. That's strange for Muslim tribesmen. Right, well, good bit of chambers knowledge here. Moro is like a Moor or a Muslim tribesman. Room in way that's strange means anagram it, and gal is the extras in 44. So, a 27 minus g, 7 is a 20, l minus a must be a k again. Okay, at least we've got going again. Let's try 45, which we're going to move on to next. Join rude riots, not related to 16th century ones. I kind of want it to be J and then an anagram of rude. Nuda? That doesn't really mean so. Not related to 16th century riots. I don't know. Uh, in which case, we've only got two extra letters from the cross. 36 has got an O in it. Nearly mislay. Surely that's LOS from Luz. Gadgets left in Cyprus. Cyprus is C Y, I think, yes. Gadgets left. So lose gets left. Again, something's been added to gets. Right, closely means nearly. And lose L in C Y. Gad is the extra stuff. And 36 down. Again, that's T, but now C. Okay. Right, 39 across ends in L. -E. Is that any help? Court. Ch oh, this is cord that's thick. Court chicken. Badly. Hen ill with E. Oh, it's that sort of cord, kind of fabric of cord. Cord right. Okay. Chenille and WIR from wire is the extra stuff in 39. So I minus W, W is 23, I is 9 plus 26 is 35, minus 23 is 12, which is L, and R minus I is another I again, 18 minus 9. Okay. And now we do have two letters in 30 down. Oh, able to give away 4H, having one club, well, I can see that already, and jack to ace in hearts with lead of trumps. Rich. Jack to ace. I feel I'm just missing what that's on about. 31. More than one bumpkin with area showing bark. Oh, 
something to do with ginkgo or quinine or kinchona. 40 down. Military leaders casting off flat cap. Beginning with an I. Military leaders casting off flat cap. No, 41 down with an O. Grass involved dacoit more than once. Toy toy. Okay, well, working off the principle that there's got to be something wrong with the clue, I think dacoit is a suspicious word. If you take the dac off, you can involve or anagram oit more than once to get toy toy, which is a variant of grass. So we've got dac. C minus A gives us a B. No, A minus D first gives us 27 minus 4. That's a W, I think. Okay. Uh, 52, we've got two letters in that, let's have a look at 52. Cut out from sheer sateen terylene. Okay, while well, re-enter, cut out more. Re-enter. I think that's it. I don't quite see why enter is cut out. But I think sat is the extra stuff in 52. I'm not 100% sure, but it just feels right. Sorry, going with a bit of instinct there. 27 minus 19 is H, and T minus A must be S. Okay. Could be starting to look at this message, but it's very hard. I mean, look, we've got in going on there. It's just too much, too much still to go. It's not going to make any sense yet. Um, 40 down. Have another look at that. I've had a look before. Inert would fit. Military leaders casting off. Officers casting, throwing away off gives us ices. So flat cap has to swap with some sort of murderer's definition. So I'm going to... 47, core of NSW, so that's a Australia reference, I presume. Socialists wants president equally. I don't know what that is. Socialists wants president. So take a P out of... something to do with pinkos there. I think in Australia socialists are called pinkos and the core of that is inco. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm maybe just guessing it. 53. Measures drain tube of clay capable of being lengthened. That's surely tensile. Measures, drain, tube of clay. Measures could be ends, ENs. In, tile. I think that's right. DRA is the extra. 53. R minus D, 18 minus 4 is an N. And A minus R, 27 minus 18 is an I. Yeah, we get good letters out of that, so I think any doubts were a bit allayed there. This is still kin queener or something. I don't know what. 48 down must be the one of the last two down clues. Line that is overturned in claim. That should be simple, shouldn't it? That is overturned. I can see EI for IE overturned. In oh seal in CL, which isn't really a word, but never mind. And that gives us AIM as the extras in 48. So I minus A must be H, and M minus I. 13 minus 9 is a D, I think. 
55 gives us a word ending in ly, which is very likely but not very narrowing in the field. Oh, what's 55? Uncover number in score in a way related to key tonally. Score can be tally. Over number can be on. Lovely. So we've got unc in 55 across as the extras. Right. N minus U, 40 minus U is 21, gives us an S. And C minus N, that's quite complicated too. 29 minus 14 gives us an O, 15. Um, that bark is still infuriating me now. Kin, queener, I'm kind of thinking. Kin, queen? Oh, Kina, Kina. More than one kin with area. Okay, I'm going for that. At least I've got an answer now. Kina. I think that's a bark, probably hyphenated, but never mind. And what was the extras? Oh, bum was the extras. So U minus B gives us S, and M minus U is 39 minus 21 is 18 as an R. Okay, good, 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 good. 43 down. Ending in TO. I haven't seen this. Papula to one thinking classically. Well, papula has to have some extras in it, doesn't it? So, pap to one thinking classically. Wow, I can't think of it. Plato, pla. <laughs> it's not a real word. Plato. Okay, and PLA APU are the extras. P minus A gives O. U minus P gives us. Uh, U is 21. P is 16. So that's an E. Okay, that's helpful. Right, 47 across. Probably haven't looked at this yet. Core. Oh, yes, we have. Right, alike means equally. Ike is a president. Why is AL core of NSW socialists? It's the core of socialists, the central bit. So NSW is the extras there. It's almost like a forced set. 47, so S minus N is... 19 minus 14 gives an E. W minus S to U, V, W is a D. And we're rocking on now. 51 across. Something A, something I. Peso, not unknown in Spanish book. Cadiz. Cardi. I think that's swapping definition. That Cardi is a Muslim judge or something. So, Peso. It's a very surprising definition, but that's got to be a definition for somewhere else. Right, and 30 down. We hope to get that starting us in this corner, and instead it's going to be the last one we get, whenever we get it. Able to give its two words. Hick jacket. That's some Latin phrase. I was going to say Spanish. Able to give away. J A one club and J A in hearts in H E no where's the other C oh I C and J A S in hearts is H with lead of trumps so somehow. That's genuine wordplay. Oh, able to give away 4-H. Must, I don't know what hick jacket. Hick jacket this throws. Isn't that what that means? I'm sure it's a legal phrase, but I don't know quite what it means. Hick jacket. Maybe it's switching definitions, or maybe uh, there's just 4-H can mean something that I don't understand. That's quite possible. 56 across. Banker chasing millions brought back succulent fruit. 
banker can be a river as well as an actual banker. Chasing millions has to be M, surely. Brought back succulent fruit. I don't know. 49, I expect we've looked at this already. Oh no, irregular cavalrymen wrongfully asked to take part in appeal run. Risaldar. That's an Indian irregular cavalryman, if I remember my flash man. Normally has two S's, but can probably be spelled with one. But I think it's an anagram. Oh no, S A R A D. Ah, ill. Jilladar. Cilladar? I think S-K-E are the extra letters. So it's irregular cavalrymen wrongfully ill add A-D to take part in appeal. I think that has to be S-A for sex appeal. Now, that is not a word I was expecting. I would have believed Jilladar was a word, but I'm going to go with it. 49 across. This is a big gamble. Biggest one I've taken, but I've got to break into this corner. S-K-E are the extras. K is 26 plus 10, 30, no, plus 11, 37 minus S is 19, gives us 18, and E minus K is 11 from 31 is T for 20. I'll probably have made some mistakes in my alphanumeric calculations, even though I've got used to them in doing puzzle hunts recently. Um, I'm not flawless on knowing which number corresponds to which letter of the alphabet. I've tried 45 before. 46 down. Nettle Q cultivated for fibre hit by freeze, losing all but its core. So freeze losing all but its core must be E-E. -E. There's a fibre made from plants called Rami. Nettle cultivated for fibre. That could be rammy. Ram can be hit. That'll do. Q is the extra. KW is the extra stuff. So 46 down, those extras. Q, E minus K. We just did that. 31 minus 11 is T. And W minus E, 23 minus 5 gives us an R. Let's carry on and try and finish off the filling the grid. 50 down. Tudor, the headed, troublesome magistrate. Right, Cardi is the magistrate at 51. Looks like an anagram of Tudor without the T, so Dur or Duro. What's the definition at 51? Peso. That's more likely to be a Duro which I think was some, something like an escudo or something. So 50 and 51 gives us an A as the difference between them. Quite an odd thing with this method is you're not going to get very big letters. Oh, you could do. Yes, actually, you could have numbers far apart in this size group. OK, 54 across. Might not have looked at it yet. Something ER. Time to follow barley sugar. Appliers. Well, appliers, there must be something wrong with that. On the other hand, I don't quite know what's wrong with it. Time, T, surely, to follow barley sugar. I don't know. That's annoying. Right, 38 down. This might be the last one we haven't looked at once. What's concealed a snake? Well, the snake is the rattler at 20. So what's concealed, possibly what's concealed, A, secret, and A, secreta, and the definition that we had left behind in 20 was products of glands. Lovely. Right, secreta, that's a good solve. 38 versus 20 gives us an 18. Okay, you do get some big letters. You get an R from that at 20 down. I think we're just going to have to jumble those letters because they're not really spelling anything 
J and a K in them. I think that's okay. Um, 45. Oh, was that the... I can't remember which the barley sugar one was. It's not this one. Uh, 45. Join rude riots. Not related. I suppose... I don't know. No, I don't know if it's... Unread? Not related? Neared? Dure? Unread? U-N-R-E-D is possible. I don't know what it is. 37. Mock. Driving out dame with snakes and rodents. No, but 42. It's got to be Clue, hasn't it? Endlessly set. Fine. Endlessly set five contributions. Well, I really want it to be Clue. That would give us a U at 34 down, so Roulard or Crusade would fit. Having defended Clack regularly, C-A-U, taken on engagement... Core date, having a tail. Core and date, yes. Having ending, because core date means having a tail, so death is the extra. Letters in 34 down. E minus D gives us an A. F minus E gives us an A for once. Easy ones. Okay, now 56. Miniola would fit, and I don't know what that means. Banker. Oh, it could be a river. It could be a river in America. Chasing millions. Brought back succulent fruit. Aloe. Mineola. Where's the inn coming from? It's brought back. Banker. That's the river, that's the definition. Chasing millions. Chasing. What's chasing? Chag, chas. Suck Oh, fruit. Miniola's a fruit. It's a, it's a, yes, it's some sort of hybrid fruit, like an ugly. Right, so bar is in, aloe is a succulent. Right, NKE is the extra star, 56 across. K minus N is W, is it? Don't want to just guess. K minus N, 26 plus 11 is 37, minus N is 14, 23, it is a W. And E minus K, 31 minus 11 is 20, is a T. Okay, 54 looks like beret now. Oh, we took a military hat somewhere. We had a military hat somewhere at 40. Military flat cap, so that's a beret, yes. 54 across, so we're looking for a definition of ices, sugar appliers. T to follow beer for barley. Okay, so 54 and 40. Gives us a 14, which is N. 33 down here. Order in nice freezer, which produces fast olives. <sighs> Rule, cerulean. Rule is order. In nice, free. Free can be an anagram indicator, so cerulean. It must be some sort of thing you inject to make olives grow faster. 
And then we get ZER in 33 down. E is 31 minus Z. Oh, well, I must give an E. And R minus E, 18 minus 5 gives us an M. 13. Unread. It really does look like unread. I don't know what that means, though. Is this swapping a definition? No, it must be N rude riots. Not related. I mean, jeez, that's weird. Okay. But J O I is getting, giving us some extra letters. O minus J, 15 minus 10. I minus O is 35 minus 15. That's a T. Okay, 37 cross. Mock driving out Dane. Ah, gerboas are rodents. Jeer, mock. Driving out E with boas. That'll do. So roll was wrong. A little suspicious about that. Um, let's get rid of that L. Um, and dam comes out as the extra letters in 57 across, no, 4, 37 across. So dam A minus D must give us W again, surely, 27 minus 4, yeah. And M minus A gives us L. So 29 down, which we got wrong as a roll, giving gold up with some lines, RY, railway, Rory, Creating a codicil in Scotland. I still think that could be creating a coil, because I don't quite know what that means in Scotland. Did we try that at 29 down? Yeah. Still think that might be right. 42 was endlessly set. Fine. Could be flu. It's got to be clue, but the trouble is I don't know what's going on there. Irritating. Let's go back to seven down. Times. See, if I'd been very careful about... Oh, hick jacket. I don't know if we defined that, but I suppose maybe it was able to give away 4H. I don't know. Seven down. Times, old boy, heading for the top. Eras, eras at 21 across is defined by times. What was the definition in 21 across that we didn't use? Estate near Whitehall. Oval, is that near Whitehall? Old boy heading for the top. Estate, Odal, lad, heading for the top, so going upwards, I reckon Odal, which is some um, Shetland estate held feudally. So 7 and 21 are giving us 14, that's an extra N. And then we're just left with 13 and 42 to fill in. 13, forward filled. Red seer, red's ear. Perhaps putting narrow red for row or round. I don't know. Okay, oh, a Tony at 11 across. We didn't form of immunization. Maybe a Tony is a form of immunization. Okay, but then what's missing in the clue? A fashionable form of I don't know, a Tony? It means 
some sort of tonelessness or an inability to pick up tone. I don't know, that's odd. I'm not, not happy with that either. We've got all sorts of bits not done, and that may prevent us reading the message, but I'm going to try now. So, we've got... Oh, one down, that car load as well. Brittle when glowing. Well, it seems to be the right answer, but what's that got to do with brittle when glowing? Red seer might be brittle when glowing at 13. In that case, one down would be defined by something in Ford filled car load. Jeez. So, narrow body of water, Red Sea. Oh man, that's staring me in the face. Okay, so 1 down and 13 combined together to give us an L. I'm going to write at 13. So, oh, 1 across. Why didn't I do that? It was end of Attila, so leg gave us something extra. E minus L. 31 minus 14 is 17. Q? Try that again. 31 minus 12 is 19, gives us an S. G minus E must give us a B. Okay, so slur or bow or bow or slur. In. Wow, I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's. Um, Let's pull this up a bit. Let's highlight the letters that go together, and that must be in. So, in. And then it can't be followed by anything L, so it's probably followed by WI. Although, yeah, okay, that gives us in the non-yellow something all, all letters. Okay, so let's make these ones, I oh, know, let's use red font. Make the whole thing bold so we can see it. And we'll use red font for letters. All letters. So the red must be the instruction, the yellow must be the quotation, and if the yellow, therefore, it must be wicked, mustn't it? So 42 across is meant to be giving us an extra trigram. What was 42 across? Oh, well, that's the one we haven't done. Clue, probably. Endlessly set fine contribution to crossword. Well, contribution to crossword has to be the definition. So endlessly seems right. So we want to find, yeah, okay. So fin would give us a c, which is exactly what we want, and then n minus i. So there must be a word I'm not thinking of for set that clu something. And then we take the fin out. That's okay. So n minus i, 14 minus 9, gives us another i. Okay, so the c is going to be yellow. Oh no, well, if I got there at 14 minus 9, it gives us an E. Phew. That's what we want. Okay, letters. So the yellow, wicked, 51. That was definitely one that swapped a definition, wasn't it? 51, Cardi, yes, it did. Okay, oops, sorry. So 51's a blank. So that's good. So now we're on the yellow. In wicked the and all letters not. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Not something. Yes, yeah. Oh no, that wasn't meant to be yellow, that was meant to be white over red. 
this is meant to be yellow instead. Oh, what's going on at one, one down doesn't have extra letters. Why have I, oh, I wrote one across in at one down. That's the problem there. Right. I think that the quote is something wicked this way comes. In wicked this way. And that's going to use that O and that E. And look, we can see Macbeth at the end as well. That's very straightforward. Excellent. Right. So the other things. So we've missed a few. Five down needs to have extra stuff. Five down was Marcel. Solved that very early on. Oh, style of hair. Maybe it's not hair oil. So oil is extra at five down, okay. I minus O, 15 and 9, 24 minus I gives us an O. Mm. No, 26, 35 minus O, 15 gives us a T. And then L minus I is just three. So that's the C we wanted, excellent. Seven down needs to give us an M, O oh, that O down. Times, but well, that was swapping a definition. Maybe eight down's wrong. No, that was giving us oh, eight down was giving us V I N. Maybe I've done it wrong. I minus V. V is twenty two. I is thirty five. That gives us an M. That is my problem. Okay. So that is yellow. That one's red and not yellow. So let's just copy that there. So, in wicked this way comes. Look, there's the other yellow bits. Okay. So we need to make it something at the beginning. Lovely. So we need to find two more earlier crosses that are giving us extra letters. M and E. Oh, that fashionable form of immunisation that we didn't understand. Where are we going to get an M from that? Um, I don't know. But anyway, um, Ford Field, that wasn't one. Company refused to hold on. Oh, didn't understand refused there. Henri from refused. I don't know. So I think it's 11 and 15. Oh, no, we have this ADI or DIA. One of them's got to give us an E. So I minus D. So it's DIA. I gives an E. Then 27 minus 9, 18 gives us A minus I. 27 minus 9 is 18 gives us an R. Oh no, it's ADI. That gives us a C. That's much more likely for the message. It was worth doing that at the very end. Right. So, something wicked. So, the other message, something wicked this way comes Macbeth, is the quote. Black, it must be black in all letters, not in the treat word. Oh, okay, so we're going to need to know the treat word. And the letters that we've got so far... <sighs> how many... How many letters are in something wicked this way comes with breath? 9, 15, 19, 22, 27, 34. So of the... 58 clues, 34 are in the quote. So the number of letters in the supplied by the other 24 by the tree clues is 12, of which we've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're missing two where we haven't paired up 
answers. Now this is where it might help. Now I think that 11 was A. Tony, 15 was Coronai. They can't both supply the M and the A. So only one does. So one of those is swapping a definition. Maybe chandeliers is swapping with something else. Or maybe form of immunization is swapping with something else. And that's a clue we've decided. Um, what was the form of immunization then? And we've got hick jacket, which I'm still not happy about. Um, tetracid early on we were that could be a form of immunization what's the extra stuff in tetracid epitaph epitaph here lies hick jacket okay so 10 and 30 swap and tetracid able to give away four hydrogen atoms not four hearts that's quite lovely really so 10 and 30 gives us 20 gives us a t Now, what else? What else are we not used? That was good. But still, we haven't used either Atony or Coronai, and one of them swaps with something. So, where did we find a word that we didn't really understand the definition? Closely so, I says, Kina, Kina was a bark, Plato. Carlo traps on tofu, rattle and Europe. Ozonizer. No, that's all right. Radio Marcel Pentact oh, Serum, 14 down, form of immunization. And that says hesitation. That must be what A Tony means. Okay, so 14 and 11. That gives us a 3. That's a C. And that means that 15 across was meant to be giving us, this is where RE had to be made from refused minus three letters. Um, and given that it's meant to be giving us an M and an A, that means that it must be REF. So company, company is core maybe, CO, oh no, company to hold, it's used, and REF is the extra stuff. E minus R is 1831, that gives us M and A, right, okay. So I don't quite know how that works really, but I know that this is right, and now we've got the quote. Something wicked this way comes. Excellent. Black in all letters, not in the treat word. And we now have one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have all the letters of the treat word, and they are these ones. Let's just write them out again here. C L O J N A E A N T K R. And I'm afraid it's memory that's helping me with that slightly more than um, slightly more than my innate anagram ability. Obviously, you could put it in an anagram engine, but let's just read this preamble again. Always useful to read that as you near the end. Clues are of two types: in tree clues, blah blah blah. Taking the numerical difference and converting, will yield the letters of an essential light. And although that sounds like it's the old word light, meaning an entry in a crossword, I think we need an actual light. Um, in trick clues, these letters yield a quotation and message, all the way of getting the message. And the message is to be squarely obeyed by solvers. And that message is black in all letters, not in the treat word. The second word of the quotation may, in the context of the puzzle, be deemed of either one or two syllables. So it could be wicked, or it could be wicked. 
So something wicked this way comes. Now, I've told you that the puzzle was in October. I may not have mentioned that it was on the 31st of October. So we're looking for an essential light, something that's wicked, on the 31st of October. And if you haven't got it by now, I can tell you that the answer to this anagram is a Jack O. Lantern. And the second message tells us to squarely obey black in all letters not in Jack O' Lantern. And if we apply that to the grid, well, I'm going to start colouring black all the letters of the alphabet that are in this grid but that are not in Jack O' Lantern. So, I wish there was a simple way of doing this. Well, I'll probably cut here and come back when I've done it, and you'll see what we've made. I'll probably make them grey rather than black. So, here we go. And there we are. And I think that confirms exactly what we thought. This picture in the grid of the black squares effectively makes the shape of a jack-o'-lantern, just as we've discovered through the whole process of solving the puzzle. And, I mean, what a wonderful finish that is to fill in those letters of the alphabet that are not in the word jack-o'-lantern. And once you fill them in, you get the shape of a jack-o'-lantern in the grid. Very clear, smiling, carved pumpkin with its wicked or wicked light in it. I mean... I mean, I can't tell you how neat this is as a as a concept, as an as an execution. It's a really clever puzzle. Hats off to Dimitri who achieved it. Um, when one just thinks about the the effort it must take to create a grid in which the letters not in Jack O' Lantern make that black shape. And all the other letters are letters that are in Jack O' Lantern. Just think about these words he's had to use, like catacomb and hick jacket and miniola, which fit the pattern. It's a magnificent effort. I mean, real, and as well as a technical achievement. It's a real delight to solve. So um, I hope that was of some interest to you. It's a lovely finish to the puzzle. You know, even if you missed the middle bit of the clue solving and jumped to the end, I hope that was worth it because it's it's a very entertaining puzzle um thank you for watching and um i hope you've enjoyed cracking the cryptic hope to see you again another time bye